everyone. Welcome to your reading for August 19th, 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. Um, all I can say about the shuffle song is, holy shit, this is going to be a freaking doozy. And um, I think I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it in two parts, maybe three. We'll see what happens. But I have three decks laid out. Oh, what was that? Ooh, death in the reverse. Something's not going to work. Okay, so I'm picking up the strongest gang stalking vibe, like crazy, crazy downloads. Um, I'd love to tell you what I'm picking up. It's actually kind of, um, it's exciting. I feel like I'm finally figuring something out um, about my own life and probably lots of people's lives because I think it's um, organized like organized gang stalking. So anyway, <laughs> this is the song. The song is called I Can't Hear You. It's by The Dead Weather. And some of the lyrics, like I was literally shaking when I was listening. I was trying to shuffle and I was trying to write and it's, uh, it's not easy. So I don't even know if I can read my writing because, and I'm using another one of these iPhone doodles from my friend's grandson. So anyway, first lyric you're talking to yourself I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna teach you ah something I didn't get what it was um, take you by the hand walk you to my house so I can I wasn't sure if it was heal you or feel you um, so I wrote both you're stashing money roofies up your sleeve there's no one you can trust I'm gonna kill you I'm going to keep you to myself. You're talking to yourself. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. Again, another W. Or W-O-F. Or W-O-T. Um, and then the last line is, it don't work on anyone else. So, my first feeling is that um, it's going back on the gang stalkers. Okay. Um, I had a really cool channeling um, after, no, it was yesterday, so it wasn't after the reading. Oh, I watched the reading. I watched my own reading um, yesterday, and I got a bunch more downloads about it. And I actually said something out loud, um, and it, was, it wasn't me. It was channeling, for sure. It was, it was channeling. And, um, and let's just say... Um, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So anyway, there's another one of these question marks upside down, or it's the moon. It could be the moon, but I don't know what that other dot is above it. Um, it says iPhone 11. There's a two of coins here. That means confusion. I don't know if it's in the up or down. Juggling, confusion, um, money, money, like money laundering, um, something going around and around. And then on the back, again, one of those impossible numbers, 14, 13 a.m. And I don't know what this is, some kind of scribble. Um, I have no idea what that is. So let's, let us begin. So I think, because when the videos get too long, it takes forever to upload. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to stop after I finish this first deck and then I'll continue on with another deck. So let's get started. Four of coins in the upright. Somebody's holding on to something. Um, it can also mean a gift. There's a gift here. Somebody could be gifted. It's also saying to hold on. Hold on to your gift. There, there could also be something that you should hang on to. Um, I'm, I just thought of a necklace or something. Um, hold on to something. Hold on to something. Something that means something to you. Something that strengthens your gift even. Like I'm getting physically hold on to it. There's something that, that uh, means something to you. So hold on. It feels kind of like be patient. Wow. Death in the upright, in the inspiration. 
So someone wants closure here, someone wants something to end, they want a new beginning. Somebody wants your gift. Hmm. Strength, fears, and feelings. Five of Swords in the reverse. It's in the dual position. This is a fight to the death. Someone wants your gift. Someone wants, <laughs> I don't even like saying this, but it what it's saying to me is somebody is trying to kill you for your gift but they can't. This can also mean they've given up and they're at the end. This feels a bit like a, a white flag here. In your intuition, you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I feel like this is you and it's, it's like them kind of circling around you and you're sitting there quite fortified with the four of cup or sorry four of coins or it could be compartmentalizing but there's a box there there's a a home a box a house and so you've got the queen of cups in your intuition somebody isn't using their intuition um, somebody is really, like they can't use their intuition because they're so mad. It's like somebody literally can't come up against you because you are completely fortified and safe. And there's that freaking fly. Um, this could be a Scorpio. Death and water. In your closure. Actually, I'm going to stop saying your because I don't know who this is for. So let's just say the reading. The reading. I do... Um, I'm kind of starting to figure out that this reading, it's, uh, it's like the first layer is what happened. The second layer is what is happening. I think I'm going to add a third layer as well. So we'll see. But this is something that happened, I feel. So five of coins in the upright, the other woman. Scorpio other woman, wow. Scorpio other woman is trying to get in your house or is trying to get your gift. Um, but they are absolutely losing their mind in defeat. Yuck. This is called The Other Woman. So she's like um, confused. She's also, she's gone. She's history. She's history. Like she's she's been kicked out, out in the cold. Something has ended. but she still wants to fight to the death because she's so mad. She could have lost everything. I didn't think this was gonna be another woman reading. I thought this was gonna be a gang stalker reading. Ew. So she's sleazy. Roofies up your sleeve, you're stashing money. Okay, so you're talking to yourself. I'm gonna teach you take you by the hand, walk you to my house so I can heal you, feel you. You're stashing money, roofies up your sleeve. There's no one you trust. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, this is, this is uh, somebody should take this seriously and keep yourself safe um, because somebody is saying, I'm gonna kill you. Um, I, I do think that also means um, the gang stalkers. I think there's something higher than us killing them Anybody that watches people through cameras, I kept picking up that camera thing. 
anyone that watches people through cameras and is in some kind of organized um, networking, gang stalking thing where they're um, ruining people's lives by, um, let's just say, manipulating the system. Like there's, I'm gonna sound crazy. Anyway, this is what I'm feeling and hearing and I'm gonna say it. Um, I'm gonna keep you to myself so this is her wanting you, your gift, your house. I was also picking up ghosts in a house. Um, oh, it could be because this was the first tarot deck that I had. And I learned it at a time when I was being, I don't know, it sure seemed like I was, I was being haunted. And um, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Anyway, I, I kind of associate these decks with her. So it could be her. And it could be her that's saying this to the unholy. All right. Like I said, I'm still, I'm trying to figure this out. You're talking to yourself, W-O-F. It don't work on anyone else. All right, let's keep going. Creepy as usual. Page of coins in the upright, that could be a child. It's somebody that's showing something, that's someone that's showing up, it could be an earth sign. Um, there's something about, um, it could be a death or it could be the end of a relationship. It's the end of a battle. Um, and then somebody shows up with some kind of proof or some kind of money or opportunity. But I keep feeling like it's evidence just the way this is. Um, ew, the other thing is two people kill each other. A duel and death. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep you to myself. Okay, so it could be some kind of deranged, like, bunny boiler, and this is the only way to hold on to something because they're left out in the cold. Holy crap. All right. Air. The sky in the reverse. Jealousy. Someone lost hope. Love at first sight. Six of coins in the reverse. Somebody's super, super ambitious. Like, super ambitious. Like, um just does something for the money like there's no love this this is a, a very 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 greedy and this person they feel ruthless they're envious they're broke they were doing something for money some some greedy gold digger opportunist Friend, two of swords in the upright. So the end result, I feel like someone, someone's coming to tell you something, to show you something, to tell you something. It does feel like someone's holding on for the truth here. The truth is coming. Somebody's coming with the truth about some kind of... Um, Evil intentions. Your advice card. The stars. 
in the reverse. I gotta look in the book. I'm getting confused between these two parts right now. And I haven't I haven't looked at these for a while, so let's just Okay, first I wanna look at this one. Um, the sky, the heavens. This is confusing, but it's also called the star. So things aren't quite settled, but things are improving here when it's in the reverse. Can also mean brilliant insight, revelation, love at first sight. Okay, I said all those. It was this side that I was. Things will be okay for the time being, but not resolved yet. So it, it feels like it's um it's like someone's taking a break, taking a breather, um, because it, it feels like someone got knocked down here. Someone got knocked down. Somebody's, um, I just keep wanting to say plan, but I'm not seeing plan. So that's me projecting something or just picking. It doesn't even feel like I'm picking something up. It, it literally feels like it's not the right word. But I just haven't thought of the right word yet. Increased control over life and troubling situations. Still negative like upright, but more opportunity for improvement. So yeah, someone's taking a breather or someone's got kind of knocked down. Um, the stars. In the reverse. Yes, obsession with another person, anxiety, focus more on yourself, um, unfavorable moment, loss of lucidity, anxiety, and um, fear of success. Yeah, see if this was in the upright, it would be, oh yeah, and things improving, um, taking control, taking, um, not taking control, but well, yeah, taking um, responsibility. So yeah, so someone's kind of feeling like they're hiding in shame, actually. They, they give up. They give up. Somebody was really gunning for the money here. Somebody's been knocked off of their, well, they didn't even have a throne. They're trying to get in the house to get onto somebody else's throne. And this feels like you. And this also feels like the end result is going to be that someone, now that this is over, now that this is over, somebody else comes in and tells you something. Because that's two minds thinking the same thing. And that's also a friend. Actually, let's look that up too, just so I don't miss anything. This is gonna take forever with me looking all, all of them up. But yeah, I literally haven't read these cards for a little while. And I don't wanna miss anything. So yeah, harmony within family and workplace returned favors. Someone's returning a favor. Exchange of ideas. The word is Zephyr, and I don't know what that means. Um, like the, the name for this card. Idea communicated with another, awaiting someone's response to idea or proposition. New contact with possibilities. So there we have it. All right, so that's good. I want to look at this. So a false time, again, 14, 13 a.m. I think yesterday was 13, 12. I can't hear you. The dead weather. You're talking to yourself. I'm going to teach you a probably lesson. Take you by the hand. Walk you to my house so I can heal, feel you. You're stashing money. Roofies up your sleeve. There's no one you can trust. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to keep you to myself. 
You're talking to yourself. It don't work on anyone else. This also does feel like um, two people. I was picking up on that. Two people, like a murder-suicide. This is too freaking creepy. You know what this feels like? It feels like I'm reading someone else's diary. That's what it feels like. So your message from spirit. Oh, I gotta look that up again. What's your advice? What is your advice? Your advice. If someone is obsessed with you, anxiety, focus on yourself. You could also um, have a fear of success. And this is also saying, your message from spirit is hold on. Your message from spirit is you are, um, trying to figure out who you're talking to. You're talking to someone. Well, we'll see it in the next layer. So what's gonna happen here? Somebody has roofies, somebody has bad intentions, um, but somebody is, somebody is, um, ew, this could be a house, take you to my house. Somebody, um, sorry, I keep thinking I have to. So yeah, so this is like a gang stalker. This is, this is like a gang stalker. So the first story was the other woman or the other woman is one of the gang stalkers. Because I think the gang stalkers are a network. This could be a friend of yours, but, um, but I'm seeing, I'm just trying to read this as Anyone that's being gang stalked, I want to read this for you. Okay? Because, okay. One of the downloads that I was getting after I watched the last video, um, I watched it yesterday and I got all these crazy downloads and it, maybe it's just my family, but we've had a lot of suicides. And I'm now wondering were they actually suicides? I really don't know if they are. Um, the other thing, um, we've had a murder, we've had multiple suicides. Um, this is gonna sound really insane, but what I was picking up on was an organized, <sighs> that's what this is, and they are being defeated word is also traveling this is mouth to mouth word word of word of mouth i also feel like this is saying hold on and keep talking so anyway what talking about this talking about this okay i'm trying to figure out a way to say this without sounding crazy but what i was picking up on was an organized gang stalking i don't know let's call it operation um, where they, they not only bet on people on, are they going to kill themselves? They're holding on to their money. Anyway, it's like a, it's like a, um, 
I think there's a movie or something um, that was kind of like that. But anyway, if you don't kill yourself, they kill you. And I think they bet on, like, if they if they can get the right day or something or, oh. Okay, so I'm serious. It's so creepy. It's so weird. Um, and I think it's been in my family. And I'm starting to look back on murders and suicides in my family. And I'm starting to take a very different view of it. And... Um, I think a lot of things are more planned than we think. So, with that said, they're going down. They're 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 ashamed. I felt a judgment come down from a much higher source than us yesterday that their days are literally numbered literally numbered and there's a date and I don't know if it's the same date for everybody but I know what the date is for mine I don't know how else to say it but they're dead they are they're dead they're dead they're dead unless they repent they're dead unless they confess so this could mean somebody is coming to you to tell you you're going to get some proof. I do. I think this is huge. I think it's huger than I can even fathom. But they're, they're fucked. They did something for payment, for money, to, um, to get higher up, to get in your house. Ugh. This is so creepy. I'm going to I'm going to stop here and I'm going to have a smoke. And then I'm going to start with this deck. All right? Love you guys. I hope this isn't too weird cuz it's pretty weird to me. All right. Love you. See you in a minute. Bye.